Bonjour friends and happy French Friday to you. Today we are in the courtyard area off of my master bedroom and I'm so excited to share with you the project that hubby and I have been working on. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you may remember this piece that I shared with you before that we bought on our trip when we were in Texas at Canton Trade Days. So we spotted this large architectural piece in this big pile of wood on the ground and we thought it would be perfect to turn into a French country bed crown. I have been wanting one for our master bedroom to go above our bed. And so hubby and I spotted this and thought it would work perfect for that. So that is what we are doing today. We are going to turn this piece of trash into treasure. So please join me and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do before we get started is we need to remove this rotten wood off the back side. It's on both sides of this architectural piece. So that is what hubby is working on right now, just trying to get uh, that old rotten wood off of there so that we can add the new wood to the back side of this architectural piece. And we want to preserve as much of the older wood as we can, but we do need to get rid of the rotten wood first. Here is a closer look at the rotten wood here that we're taking off and yeah it's in pretty bad shape so it needs to go Okay, so this piece came off when we were taking the rotten wood portion off of the back. So we will uh, re reattach using wood glue and also we are going to be adding a new piece of wood to the back side so that it will strengthen this older wood portion of the architectural piece. So he's, Hubby is tracing out uh, that piece right now so that we can cut it out 
and attach it to the back side. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is use this Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty. We need to use this to fill in some areas on this wood piece that uh, we have some really large, very long nail holes that were in this architectural piece. So we're going to fill in those spots as well as some spots where the wood is actually kind of missing. So we're going to use this as like a wood filler and uh, we're going to go ahead and put in the amount that we need and then we're going to add water to it and stir it up to the right consistency that we need it to be. And then we'll be ready to go to fill in the different areas that we need to. And this stuff is really great to use on so many different surfaces. It's not just for wood. And you can sand it and we'll be able to paint it. So as soon as it dries, we can sand it and then we'll be ready for paint. So let's, uh, Go ahead and mix this up and then we'll be ready to uh, get started uh, filling in with it.
Okay, so the putty is all dry now. We are ready to get sanding. Okay, I have some leftover paint from another project and we didn't use very much of it. So I'll be using this Sherwin-Williams uh, Super Paint and it is a paint and primer in one. And the color is extra white, although it does look more cream and like more of an off-white color, which is great because that's the color that I wanted. So uh, it's perfect for this project. So I'm going to go ahead and get the first coat on here, and then after this dries, I'll put the second coat of paint on. Okay, next I want to add this General Finishes Pearl Effects. Uh, it is actually like a really pretty antique gold color. I want to bring out the details in the wood carving here. I want that to stand out a little bit more so that you can really see those details of this old piece. And I love how it just brings out the character of this piece. So next I want to add Annie Sloan Gilding Wax just a little bit in the very center. I'm not covering up uh, the other antique gold that I put on here. I just want that two-toned uh, different gold uh, just to bring an extra little texture and uh, color variation. Okay, next I just want to lightly distress in, uh, around the edges of this piece and then I'm wiping it clean here, getting all that sanding dust off before I do the next step. Okay, next I want to add this glaze in the color raw umber. I watered it down just a little bit because I don't want it to go on too thick. I want to be able to um, it to go on easy and be able to work with it and 
take some off uh, with my rag here. I've just wanted to go down in the cracks and crevices, wanting to give it just that, uh, just another texture, another layer, giving it that aged look. And I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Okay, we are putting screws now on the back side here for hanging our shower curtain. Yes, I'm gonna use a shower curtain. It's a black and cream twall French country shower curtain. And we are going to be able to place the little screws right through the holes that normally a shower ring would fit through. Okay, next hubby is going to add these flush mount hangers to the architectural piece. He'll be adding one to the architectural piece and the other one to the wall.
to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And thank a big thank you to my hubby for working on this project with me. And he also installed recently this three-tiered fountain off of our master bedroom. And I just think it just adds such nice ambiance out here to this little courtyard area. And I hope that you will come back and see me again next friend Friday. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you again, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, au revoir.